Hi, this is Michelle. Welcome to my channel. First off, as usual, I would like to thank everyone who uh, likes my videos, watches, subscribes, uh, leaves me comments, leaves me feedback. It is appreciated. I thank you very much. I know in my last video I said I was going to be more consistent, consistent about uploading videos, but I have had technical difficulties with my mic and my camera. So I did uh, purchase another camera um, that will allow a limit, unlimited recording. And I did purchase two new mics that hopefully will better pick up my voice. So please leave me feedback as to, uh, or comments as to how the audio sounds. I know how the video will look because this is my old camera. And um, you know, it, this one works fine. Uh, what I got was a Sony, what did I get? Sony 6400. Uh, and it, this is a short video, so I didn't need to use, I didn't need to really use a camera with unlimited recording. Because I still have to play with that a little bit and see, you know, how I can get the best video out of that camera. So that's why I went back to my, um, my, uh, by my, this one, which is the, um, Canon SL. SL2. Mm -hmm. Love this camera. Only reason why I replaced it was to uh, because I wanted something with uh, unlimited recording and this one will only record up to 29 minutes 59 seconds then it cuts off. So that's why I did that. So today I am doing a reveal on a Dooney and Burke bag. Uh, I have again even though I haven't been doing videos I still have been purchasing bags. So I have a lot of bags to get through. What I'm going to talk about today is the Dooney and Burke small zipper sack done in Florentine leather. Uh, the color is chestnut and this is the bag. I picked this up, where did I get this? Uh, I think I picked this up on eBay, no. I picked this up from QVC. Uh, this is an as-is purchase, yes, but it still came fully, uh, you know, fully pa uh, wrapped and, you know, packaged, uh, but it was just a uh, as-is purchase. I believe that's where I got this. Um, but let me bring it closer, because uh, this one is uh, done, I think it's done really well. Now, I have another bag just like this but it's larger and it's done in uh, Safiano leather um, I don't know if I have that bag here uh, because I put a, as I stated in my last video I put a lot of my bags in storage because I just don't have the room to uh, hold all of these bags in in here so a lot of my bags are in storage but this is the front this is the side back other side and the bottom no feet as you can see it has two front pockets and they are functional small but functional on either side and tight <laughs> my hand will fit in here uh, as you can see and I'm just getting the and I should have already gotten this out. Uh, and usually it's right here, but of course, oh, here it is. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Case for my uh, iPhone uh, 11. And this is what it would look like. Like I said, it's kind of tight. But this is how it would look if I put my uh, phone in this pocket. It's, it's secure. It's not going to fall out but it will stick out so and another thing that I like about this is the strap love this type of strap it is adjustable it's nice and wide uh, oh and um, it has the uh, gold toned hardware beautiful stitching really well done of course, the uh, standard Dooney uh, zipper tape. <clears throat> and of course, 
the Dooney patch here. So let me give you measurements. The bag is eight and a half, eight inches high, 10 inches wide, and five inches deep. Uh, the handle drop is seven to nine inches and it weighs one pound, seven ounces. So pretty light bag. So let me show you, oh crap. Let me show you what fits. Now I do have other um, accessories, uh, but I forgot to take them out before I started the video and they are in the bottom of this this uh, bag right here. Um, so, what I will do is show you the inside. So, this is the front wall, and they have the two Dooney um, pockets, vertical pockets, which is really nice. And of course, you know, the red cloth lining. This particular Florentine does not have the uh, green suede uh, collaring the top of the bag. Then on the other side, you have a zipper pocket and then a slip pocket below it. Uh, that slip pocket will not fit the width of my phone. That will not. But these pockets will. Especially this one, this one is larger. This one will be tight. And if I didn't have a case on the phone, let me do it this way, right. If I didn't have a case on the phone, it would definitely fit in there. So let me show you what fits. Right now I am carrying my fossil bag. Uh, I can't remember the name of this bag. I thought I was purchasing the Sydney. It, this may be the Fiona, the Fiona fossil bag. Uh, really nice crossbody. So, of course, Michael Kors, medium pouch. Uh, let me, uh, let me bring the camera down. See, this is what happens when you stop vid doing videos and you just don't have yourself set up the way that you normally would uh, when you do them on a consistent basis. is perfect because you can definitely see the depth of the bag and because it is a deep bag even though it is a small bag it is a deep bag so my um, my course pouch this is the medium pouch it easily fits in and then I have my smaller pouch, Michael Kors, and then I have my Michael Kors wallet, slim wallet, and that easily fits in this bag. Everything gets in there. Still have room. Like I said, it's not a huge bag, but uh, for me, uh, this is more than enough room to carry, you know, the things that I need every day. So, let's so set this up. And I love the, uh, the pulls on the uh, pockets. Really beautiful. And I know you probably see some scratches just from me doing this. Some scratches on the leather. All you do is just take your finger and buff it out. And this zips up. Let me show you how it looks on me. <clears throat> so I'm just going to move the camera up and over. And you know what? Let me do it this way. Oh, I think I brought it up too much. 
and that's how and you have well not plenty of uh room between your underarm and the top of the bag but enough and like i said it's not a huge bag uh but it is it is it's big enough for me and it's extremely light and extremely comfortable to carry so this is how it looks and of course you can carry it on the crook of the arm and if i do it that way I'll probably give you a better look the crook of the arm but it is, to me, a really, oh, that's a good shot, there we go. Uh, to me, it's a really, really uh, nice bag. And that's how it looks from the side. So, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, remember to comment on the audio um, to see, uh, if the new mic is uh, picking up my voice uh, the way I would like it to. It's just the Rode, uh, what is it, the Rode Pro Plus. Uh, so I think it's the newest one. Um, and I just wanted to, you know, since I have such a soft voice, I just wanted to invest in a uh, decent mic, you know, going forward so that, you know, people would be able to hear me. <laughs> so like I said, let me know what you think. And uh, bring the camera back up. And, uh, oh, and over. Yeah, let me know what you think. And I hope everyone is having a great day. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.